Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Jeff Command Coffee, and we are back with another MTGA Frag Draft Road of Elvok Drain. Um, mostly because I, I don't want to play too much GRN. Uh, that last one was um, pretty lucky, I would say. Quite lucky indeed. Um, and I don't want to push my luck. Uh, so we're going to go with Eldraine instead. I've got lots of cards to collect in Eldraine anyway. Um, Garen Brig. Uh, don't really feel like taking Garen Brig. So what else have we got in the pack? Uh, Joust. Fine. 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 Um, Still Call Arts. Yeah. Sure, if we want to kind of put ourselves in two colours and also in a tribe as well. Also fine. Mad Ratter though. Mad Ratter is great. Um, you can run this in the red-black uh, deck if you pull a Piper of the Swarm. Works very well. Or um, you run it in the red-blue. Uh, what is it? The red-blue Improbable Alliance deck. And blue's quite good. Blue's quite well situated in this, uh, this draft. So I'm going to grab Mad Rat as first pick. Emery. Well, Emery's not exactly quality card. Um, what else we got? Keeper of Fables, pretty dece. Once in Future, pretty dece. Uh, Foreboding Fruits, fine. Uh, Griffin's uh, A Flyer, I guess. Searing Barrage. Searing Barrage is pretty good. Uh, Rimrock Knight's good. I think Searing Barrage is something we want in this deck if we're attempting to make this deck, which we should, we should attempt. Um, Shepherd of the Flock is a very solid card. Steelgaze Griffin is kind of mediocre for the draw. Yeah. Kind of the draw archetype. Uh, Merchant of the Veil is good though. Merchant of the Veil is very nice. Uh, it's just a cheap way of fixing your draws, really. Uh, or another Searing Barrage. Hmm, it's a hard choice between these two. Uh, I think in most cases you just pick for removal. So we're going to do that. Ah, Thrill of Possibility, and Opt. Um, I think we'll take Thrill, because then we're not forcing ourselves into blue. Uh, and Thrill does fit the deck very nicely. There's a Merchant of the Veil, which I will be picking up. And... Tome Raider, we'll take Tome Raider. I'm going to try and push that Mad Rat of value. I would be silly not to pick up the Clover on the off chance we can end up in a... Any kind of uh, adventure deck. Speaking of, there's Queen of Ice. There's also another Thrill of Possibility. I think Thrill is the safer pick because it works with the archetype we're already running with. Golden Egg works very well as well. Um, these are a bit on the weaker side. I will pick up Once in Future as a very powerful card. That's something that is something I could consider running. Um, not really excited by any of these. I Guess I'll take the Merfolk for the sideboard, but probably not use it. Uh, here, I think it's possible we end up in Boros and play like a sort of Boros aggro -y deck, and in that case, the Fairy Guide Mother works well with the Clover, so we'll pick that up. Um, we'll take the Dinsey, please. And Frosty as well, so we'll pick up what we might not necessarily play. Stolen by the Fae. Now that is a is a good card. And it's a card that we can play happily in red, blue. So, on that note, red, blue. Didn't say please is perfectly fine to run, so we're going to stick that in the deck. We'll think about playing red, blue. Run away together, very good. Spinning wheel, very good. Witch's oven, very good. Um, Charm sleep, also very good. Uh, lots of good stuff here. No nothing good in red, but there's a lot of good colourless stuff here. I'd like to have a copy of Witch's Oven in the deck. It can mess with all sorts of funny stuff. 
Especially if we pick up some um, Claim the Firstborn or something like that, that could be really, really good as a combo. Spinning Wheel is also good too. Just to have a bit of ramp. It also acts as a um, ice manipulator, which is very, very good. I'm saying very good a lot, but you know that's how it be. When it is very good, it is very good. Huh? Puppet wheel oven or charm sleep or other way. What helps the deck the most? Huh? I guess oven. We have a lot of we we could potentially have a lot of rats to sacrifice, and it gives us some some staying power and some funky stuff as well that we could screw around with. Um, right, what have we got in this pack? Uh, black is looking super open. Um, Stormfist, Drown and Lock. Uh, nothing really. Uh, Dragonfire. It's got it's got to be Dragonfire. It's just good. Right, Witching Well, from Rock Knight, Merchant of the Vale. I think I like the Witching Well. We could also play Sorcerer's Broom. Ooh, this could be a Sorcerer's Broom deck. I'm going to pick up the Sorcerer's Broom. This is the sort of deck where we could end up getting a Sorcerer's Broom meme going. Um... I'm not even necessarily married to playing blue, although Stolen by the Fae is very, very good for that reason. Um, I am actually going to pick up a Revenge of Ravens and stick it in the sideboard just in case we want to go into black. Um, though in this case, I think it's quite safe to pick up a Queen of Ice. A uh, Drawbridge to give all them things haste. Got a lot of artifacts. I think picking up some artifacts energy would be really nice. Run away together is fine. I guess another didn't say please isn't the worst thing in the world. Otherwise, Hendrewalker, but. Jousting Dummy tends to be a lot better than Hendrewalker. Um, I think we do need some more early creatures. Uh, definitely Charm Sleeper, perfectly fine card. Uh, I guess Henge Walker, it's going to the sideboard, we might end up playing it. Uh, Merchant Veil. Vale. And we'll take with the Guardian. And Crystal Slipper, we probably won't be playing that. Hushbringer. Huh. Improbable Alliance, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Take that right now. That's just too good to pass up. It's just exactly what we need. Um, possibly Scalding Cauldron. Don't think Skullknocker Ogre is for us in this deck. Witching Well is also very nice. I think probably Witching Well or the Cauldron. We've got two Searing Barrages, so I think we'll go with the Cauldron. So, or the Well, rather, sorry. Um, anything that draws cards is preferable. Doesn't look like there is. There's a fight card, there's banner if we want a ramp, but we've got loads of shit anyway, so. Um, Queen of Ice is good. Gin Ginger Brute could be nice. We can sack it to get the sort of broom stuff rolling. Um, Nah, let's take another Queen of Ice. She's really good for stalling the game out, so and we do want to stall the game out. Our deck's going to be very focused on that. Um, with that in mind, we are up to 23 cards. I'll pick up another Runaway together, but for the sideboard. Uh, opt is nice. Bounce something, draw cards. Another thrill of possibility. You don't wanna you don't wanna be drawing you kinda wanna just draw one card at a time, just like every turn. I think we can probably lose the lucky clover. We're not really making great use of that. Possibly even lose the runaway together. 
It might be nice for certain tricks, but I don't think it's what we're actually looking for. So we're kind of looking at Golden Egg. Golden Egg also helps sacrifice with Sorcerer's Broom. So we've got like a mix, like win condition with Improbable Alliance and Sorcerer's Broom. We're just going off really hard with one of those. Uh, which is, you know, fair enough. Let's take the Golden Egg. Now there's the Secret Keeper. Um... I guess I'll take Secret Keeper. I probably won't play it. It's not really, not really something our deck cares about too much. Mantle of Tides. Now that does fit the deck, but it doesn't do anything. That's something you have to remember. Like, what what does this do? Creature gets plus one, plus two. Who cares? Like, just just have more creatures in your deck. Uh, another cool device. Might not play it. Roving Keep? Do I want a Roving Keep? Well, I'm not sure if we do want a Roving Keep, but we're going to have some Roving Keeps. Joust is actually worth putting in the deck, I think. Uh, put it in the sideboard. We do have loads of artifacts, but I don't think that's going to be worth it. Okay, do we need Joust? We don't have knights, so it's just a fight card, and I don't think it's going to do very much at that. Not when we've got a bunch of pixies. Um, probably drop one of the Queen's of Ice and one of the Merchant of the Veils. I think that's fine. Or I could drop the Roving Keep and put the Queen of Ice back in. Maybe the Merchant, actually. Ooh, or Ferocity, because that means the Sorcerer's Brooms get a lot stronger. And the, and the uh, Pixies. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take put Ferocity in there. We're going to just try and stall the game out and get one of our two engines rolling. And then just... Uh, uh, or three engines, because we've got Mad Ratter as well. So, yeah, we've got, we've got some shit we can do. Uh, it's going to be, I don't know... Um, uh, rats, Pixies, and Brooms. Because... That that is what we do. We make rats, pixies, or brooms. One of one of those three things, and we're having a good time, right? That's how it be. Yellow Goblin. What a name. Uh, this hand is fine. We'll keep it. <laughs> Opponents in white. They are playing white knights. Knights which are white. In colour. Of mana. Inspiring vet. Oh wow, we've got, we got, some serious, got some serious curves going on here. So... I could have played Drawbridge, but I'd rather just play Removal. Double Strike. Um, I think now I play Drawbridge and just block whatever they swing with, I guess. Okay, so they're playing the full, full colour. Right, let's charm that. And I think in this case we're actually going to discard the Sorcerer's Broom. Because it just gets eaten up by the Red Cat. And I'm quite happy with that. Since we, we do now have the mana for Searing Barrage. So that will deal with any big boys they suddenly throw out. Black box. Useful knife.
Hey, right, uh, I could drop Merchant. And we still have Thriller Possibility as an option. That's nice. Why would you attach it to Venerable Knight? Youthful Knight is the correct, yeah, the correct thing to put it on. That fox is going to be a problem. I'm going to get rid of the didn't say please because we don't really have time to counter our opponent. At this point. There's a problem once. Whatever he puts the counter on from this, uh, we can just blow up with a uh, certain barrel. I want to make a pixie, so we've got some chaff to get in the way of things. I'm probably chucking the Merchant of the Veil under the red cap now. And that's a griffin. And it's a good job we got some flyers. Mad Ratter gives us a bunch of blockers, but it's a bit too slow. Um, so we're going to have to Searing Barrage. I think we need Searing Barrage the Griffin. This is going to be a very tight game. Another use Youthful Knight. Pixie is completely useless against Youthful Knight. Yeah, I think I think we have to go down to one. I think that's actually the correct play. Though unfortunately going up against the deck with a bunch of first strike kinda counters in problem alliance. Which is uh, just unfortunate. That was unfortunate, very unfortunate. Um, not much you can do about that though, their deck just happened to have the one archetype that counters the improbable alliance, which is drop nothing but stuff with first strike. Um, what can you do? Otherwise the core of the deck works just fine. Aha! So we've got Rasa, we've got Oven, we've got we've got some we've got some good stuff going here. Some good stuff. Got egg. Didn't say please. Opponent needs to play in red. Um I'm gonna save the ops for obvious reasons. The more cards we have that trigger Rata, the better. Wolverine seems a little on the weak side. I am going to play the egg just because I want something on the minus points in my mana up, basically. We'll make our opponent think we're playing mono blue. That's what we'll do. Another blood hate Wolverine. So. Yeah, we'll make our opponent think that we're playing mono blue. There you go. We're playing mono blue. We're just we're a bit of a slow start, that's all. I kind of don't want to drop Mad Rare until we've got, um, until we have mana up to then trigger him, given our opponent's board state. I don't want that to resolve. This, 
Brimstone Trebuchet can be a nice pain, yeah, sometimes. Well, we hit three cards. So that's good. We hit, we hit three genuine cards. Um... Again, I don't want to drop Mad Rare until I have gas to trigger him with. Rock Knight, Mission Veil, okay. I guess they have no cards they want to discard. This does also give them first strike, so that's something we do have to keep in mind if we try and block them. And he's going to play the merchant, so he has access to get that effect whenever he wishes. We could force him to trigger, though, which is good. We can, we can do that. Again, we're just going to have to deal with a bunch of first strikes. It's a bit sad, really. Oh well, we do have plenty of food. And we can gain some life back. I need to draw something that's not land, really. We've drawn we've drawn an awful lot of land, uh, so we may we may just lose to not having drawn anything. But I can't lose uh, if I lose the mad rat now. Then it's basically just game over. We don't have any um, we don't have any plays. That's fine. It that doesn't have to do anything. No, I kind of have to risk it because if I lose again, if I lose the router, it's just basically game over, isn't it? So I've got to sack this. Oh, wait, all non-humans get trampled. Oof. So even if I eat this, that's going to do 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He gets trampled. non -human. Well, never mind. Uh, more more first striking creatures ruining our day. But yeah, that, that was we got a bit land flooded there, to say the least. Never mind. Um, wow, this might be a might be a really really short run. It it would be pretty sad if we if we drafted you know some pretty good synergy in the deck and it just didn't go anywhere because of a bad run.
white black aristocrats perhaps alright let's keep her tap down because I know this particular white black can sometimes like to just buff the lovely princess and just keep her in face I see. I see. Well, we have to be careful what we attack our opponent with, then, aren't we? I know I'm using the Queen's Vice pretty, you know, just as is, but I mean, we're drawing just fucking mountains, so. But that's Sir Allen, Sir Allen needs to die. As long as we're attacking with creatures with more than one power, we're good. Well, except when we don't have anything to block their lifelink on the uh, crack pack. Just, just, just pulls back Sir Alan. Yeah, sure. Ah, uh, wonderful. What a what a great run we are having this day. I love land. Land is great. Without land, one can't play magic. I'm just gonna, just gonna accept accept that we, we may just be losing this because we draw ten land in our top fourteen cards. Yeah. Ten land top fourteen. Big oof. There's a broom. And that could make all the difference. Unfortunately, he's got first strike, so. I'm just taking a moment to think to myself. Not like how this game's looking so far. Sir Alan really just messes shit up. Okay. I don't mind double blocking. Well, I think Magic decided uh, that I've had enough drafts for today, because um, it's decided that I need to just draw nothing but land in basically all three of these games that we've just played. There's, there's a drawbridge, yes. 
Despite these being decks built, or this being a deck built around drawing cards, I don't seem to be able to find any card draw. Or things that interact with card draw, for that matter. Uh, fuck it. Uh, I'll just take the five. I can't even get past the Revenge Ravens now, I have to wait until I get food rolling. There's another mountain. It's it's uh, it's literally uncanny how many of these fucking mountains I can draw. We may very well need the uh, the broom to do anything, so we'll uh, keep it around. I'm still in the game, so that's how we have to play it. I can't even think of anything that would uh, allow us to eke out a win here. Oh, another mountain. So we drew 13 lands in our first, like, 21 cards. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh... Wow, okay, so that's, uh, that's what we... Oh! <laughs> Despite having the worst luck ever, the game decided, you know, karma is a bitch, have some packs. So I think it was probably still worth it. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. What do we get in the packs? Fires of Invention. That's a card that will probably not be around forever. And... Even Crag Pyromancer. That's a card that, well, I would have liked to have seen. But hey-ho. Right, that was a really short and honestly a bit... Ooh! Wait, what? Festival Standard Cascade. Uh... Oh, I see. Fair enough. Um, huh. That's fine. I see no issue with this. Right. Um, Okie dokie. That's all for the draft. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching me get absolutely fucking stomped by the uh, the shuffler. Shuffler was having a fun time today. Um, but hey ho, sometimes that just happens, and at least we got two packs out of it, so can't really complain. Uh, anyway, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you guys had a good one. Um, these videos will probably be going up later tonight or tomorrow. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll try I'll try get back into the swing of uploading videos more regularly. Like I said, I've got uh, the series already on the go. Um, the Dominions and the Civilization Realism Invictus one. And aside from that, nothing too much on my plate. Um, just still settling into the new house, etc. Very busy, and I've been ill recently, so um, I didn't want to do any streams or or stuff whilst I've been feeling pretty sick. Um, but getting better, and hoping to keep on rolling out some of that content because it's good. Anyway. It's been me, Jeff Kamala Coffee. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around in the next one. Until then, have a good one. Goodbye.